The following equipment and consumables are required. A vacuum pump. A stainless steel filter holder with suction flask. Located between the holder and flask, a vacuusard water trap with a hydrophobic membrane filter to protect the pump. A dosing syringe. A minisard syringe filter holder. A Bunsen burner, tweezers, the required number of nutrient pad sets and the appropriate quantity of membrane filters. One nutrient pad set package contains 100 sets which are sterile and sealed in aluminum bags of 10 units each. Each aluminum bag additionally contains a silica gel sachet as desiccant. Each type of nutrient pad set is supplied along with individually sterile packed membrane filters that are optimally suited for the specific test. Remove the required number of Petri dishes with nutrient pad sets from the packaging and close again the aluminum foil to protect the contents against humidity and light. Properly label the Petri dishes with date and sample number to ensure that the samples can be correctly allocated later. For wetting the nutrient pad sets with sterile water, use the dosing syringe and a minisard type syringe filter. First use the selector at the bottom to adjust the dosing syringe to 3.5 milliliters and fill with water by pumping repeatedly. Afterwards, attach the minisard syringe filter to sterilize the water. Always be careful not to touch the tip of the syringe filter when attaching the minisard and during later handling. Pump the trigger repeatedly to fill the syringe filter and wet the nutrient pads with sterile water. Hold the cover over the Petri dish to protect it against airborne contamination. The nutrient pads are now ready to use. Now disinfect the stainless steel filter holder as follows. Switch on the vacuum pump to create a vacuum. Ignite the Bunsen burner and adjust the flame to the desired strength. Remove the cover of the filter holder and place it aside. Remove the funnel. Now open the vacuum tap and flame the filter support with the Bunsen burner flame for 5 to 10 seconds. Afterwards, close the vacuum tap again. Also, flame the outside of the filter support to disinfect it. Now flame the funnel from underneath. When doing so, hold the funnel only by the clamp to avoid burns. Attach the funnel onto the unit. Open the vacuum tap and flame the funnel from the inside. Afterwards, close the vacuum tap again. For quicker cooling, add several drops of sterile water from the dosing syringe to the filter support. This will make it easier later to remove the yellow protective disc. Remove the filter from the packaging and open the envelope carefully in such a way that you avoid touching the membrane. 
Flame the tweezers. Remove the filter together with the yellow protective disc and place on the filter support. The effects of moisture and heat cause the yellow disc to curl. This allows it to be removed easily. Place the funnel back on and close with the clamp. Pour in the sample. Open the vacuum tap and filter the sample. Rinse funnel and membrane with 10 to 50 milliliters of sterile water to eliminate product residues and inhibitors. Close the vacuum tap. Lift off the funnel and, using flamed forceps, remove the membrane filter. Place the filter on the wetted nutrient pad. Hold the cover over the Petri dish to protect it. Avoid entrapping air between the pad and filter. Finally, place Petri dishes with the cover facing upwards in the incubator.